You're playing a dangerous game dating Luis. Sadly, someone's going to be burned. You have Luis thinking it's possible for a crane and a commoner to have a lasting relationship. This Hank fellow seems to think he has a chance with you two. Meanwhile, poor Beth is living in limbo, future on hold until you decide which of these suitors, if any, you want to keep around for a while. You think I'm cavalier about other people's feelings, and I'm not. Facts are facts. You hold these people's lives in the palm of your hand. You alone have the power to play them like pawns on a chessboard. But eventually, they'll all reach checkmate, and the only one to emerge unscathed will be you. That's not what I want. It's inevitable. You'll go back to living the good life. But for Hank, Beth, and Luis, going back to their old lives will be difficult, if not impossible, for you'll have left nothing but a trail of heartache and misery in your wake. Is that what you... You want for these people? Or don't you care what happens to them as long as you have your fun? As I said, you hold these people's lives in your hands. It makes you more of a crane than you could ever imagine. I don't want to hurt anyone. Come now, Sheridan. Aren't you doing what Luis accuses all of us of doing, trampling on people, ruining innocent lives to get what we want? What father and I do for power and money, aren't you doing for love? And won't Luis hate you when this whole thing ends in disaster? Which, of course, it will. I know you, sir, and even better than you know yourself. Eventually, you'll get bored and move on to the next thing that amuses you. Who are you to say I'll get bored, Julian? What if Luis is the man I've spent my life looking for? Luis is literally the man of my dreams. The tall, dark stranger that I've seen in my head a thousand times. What if Luis is the right man for me and we end up spending the rest of our lives together? All right, let's play a quick game of what if. What if you and Luis continue your relationship? Would the man of your dreams be the husband of a rich woman? The husband of a crane, no less? If it can't work out, in your heart you know it can't, then why lead Luis on? Why hurt him? Unless you just don't care. Oh, Pilar! How serendipitous our paths should cross. I was just inside with Sheridan discussing Luis. What about my son? Well, just use whatever influence you have on him to urge him to stay away from Sheridan, for his sake as well as hers. You understand? Yes, I think I do. You see, Father doesn't want there to be a relationship between Luis and Sheridan, and you and I both know what Alistair is capable of doing to people who don't bend to his will. It's, uh, talk to Luis. Do it soon. <laughs> 